The Thamud, Arabic, M. Wedi is the name of an ancient civilization in the Hejaz known from the 8th century BCE to near the time of Muhammad. The Thamud civilization was located in the north of the peninsula. Although they are thought to have originated in southern Arabia, Arabic tradition has them moving north to settle on the slopes of Mount Athlab near Madain Salah. Numerous Thamudic rock writings and pictures have been found on Mount Ath Lab and throughout Central Arabia. History The oldest known reference to Thamud is a 715 BC inscription of the Assyrian king Sargon II, which mentions them as being among the people of eastern and central Arabia subjugated by the Assyrians. According to Islamic tradition, the Thamudi existed much earlier than this, whose ancestors are said to be Aram and Ars identified as the biblical Aram and Uz, they are referred to as Tamudai in the writings of Aristo of Chios, Ptolemy, and Pliny. The Quran Like the Ad, the Quran mentions the Thamud in Surah al Araf in the context of several prophets who warned their people of coming judgment. The verses advise Thamud to take warning from the destruction of Ad. To the Thamud people, we sent their brother Salah. He said, O oh my people, worship Allah, you have no other deity other than him, there has come to you clear evidence from your Lord. This is the she camel of God sent to you as a sign. So leave her to eat within God's land, and do not touch her with harm, lest there seize you a painful punishment. And remember when he made you successors after Ad and settled you in the land, and you take for yourselves palaces from its plains and carve from the mountains, homes. Then remember the favors of God and do not commit abuse on the earth, spreading corruption. This verse suggests some kind of relationship between Ad and Thamud, and Ad may even have been a part of Thamud's history and culture. However the Ad lived in the Hadramit region of present-day Yemen, unlike the Thamud, who lived in the Hejaz region, near present-day Arabia just as Nas Noah people were seen as the ancestors of Ad, it seems Ad were seen in a similar relation to Thamud. The Ad were a people living in southern Arabia. A bit further on from the passage quoted above, the Quran says, so they hamstrung the she-camel, and were insolent toward the command of their lord and said, O Salah, bring us what you promise us, if you should be of the messengers. So the earthquake seized them, and they became within their home corpses fallen prone. In Surah al kamar it says, Indeed, we sent upon them one shriek i.e., blast from the sky, and they became like the dry twig fragments of an animal pen. Topic. Historians The historian Ali ibn al Athir AD mentions the Thamud in his book The Complete History Arabic, al al -kml al -kamil fi composed ca. 1231. <laughs> ibn Khaldun Historian and scholar, Ibn Khaldun also mentions the Thamud several times in his Universal History Kitabu el Ibar Arabic, K -t -ab -al -br, the Book of Lessons written in the late 14th century, but only in passing, seldom giving much information. This can be illustrated by what happened among the nations. When the royal authority of Ad was wiped out, their brethren, the Thamud, took over. They were succeeded, in turn, by their brethren, the Amalekites. The Amalekites were succeeded by their brethren, the Himyar. The Himyar were succeeded by their brethren, the Tubas, who belonged to the Himyar. They, likewise, were succeeded, by the Adwa.130 Then, the Mudar came to power. The Yemen, Al-Bahrain, Oman, and the Jazeera have long been in Arab possession, but for thousands of years, the rule of these areas has belonged to different Arab nations in succession. They also founded cities and towns there and promoted the development of sedentary culture and luxury to the highest degree. Among such nations were the Ad and the Thamud, the Amalekites and the Himyar after them, the Tubas, and the other South Arabian rulers Adwa. There was a long period of royal authority and sedentary culture. The coloring of sedentary culture established itself firmly. The crafts became abundant and firmly rooted. They were not wiped out simultaneously with each ruling dynasty, as we have stated. They have remained and have always renewed themselves down to this time, and they have become the specialty of that area. Such special Yemenite crafts are embroidered fabrics, striped cloth, and finely woven garments and silks. Topic. Script 
A script graphically similar to the Semitic alphabet called Thamitic has been found in southern Arabia and up throughout the Hejaz. The script was first identified in a region in north-central Yemen that is known as Thamud, which is bound to the north by the Rub al-Khali, to the south by the Hadramat and to the west by Shabwa. The script was named after the place where it was first discovered, not for the people. Inscriptions in Thamudic come mostly from northern Saudi Arabia, but can be found throughout the Arabian Peninsula. Identity Very little information is known about the identity or the nationality of Thamud, but they are referred to as Arabs Arabses in the records of the Greek historian Diodorus Siculus. The title and description given by Photius to the Thamud indicates that they had a status similar to Kedarites who have been identified as Arabs. In 2003, Professor Jan Retzo, in a research in his book The Arabs in Antiquity, concluded that Thamudic people were Arabs. Roman historian Pliny the Elder stated the Thamud people. Tamudai". And other Arabian ethnic groups lived among and nearby the city of Damata, an Arabic cognate to the biblical son of Ishmael, Duma, whose descendants became stone carving Edomites. The change from Duma or Dumat to Thamud may be attributed to undefined vowels in written Semitic languages as well as gradual shifting of consonantal pronunciation and dialects due to time and nomadic changes in location. Use of the name After the disappearance of the original people of Thamud, Robert Hoyland suggested that their name was subsequently adopted by other new groups that inhabited the region of Madain Salah. This suggestion is supported by Abdullah ibn Umar and ibn Kathir, who report that people called the region of Thamud al Hijr, while they called the province of Madain Salah as Ard Thamud, Land of Thamud and Beit Thamud. House of Thamud. The conclusion that can be taken from the evidences above is that the term Thamud was not applied to the groups that lived in Madain Salah, such as Leonites and Nabataeans, but rather to the region itself. According to classical Arabic sources, it was agreed upon that the only remaining group of the native people of Thamud are the tribe of Banu Thaqif which inhabited the city of Taif south of Mecca. <laughs> Disappearance As it was told in the Quran how the original people of Thamud were vanished, it is suggested that the story mentioned in the Quran can be explained like they may have been destroyed by one of the many volcanic outbreaks that have formed the far-reaching Arabian lava fields. See also Atlantis of the Sands References Topic. External links Media related to Thamud at Wikimedia Commons Retzo, Jan The Arabs in Antiquity, Their History from the Assyrians to the Umayyads. Routledgekurzen. The Story of the Prophet Salah.